Not trading is like putting money in the bank because there will be times that you will be in a state of mind that I could virtually guarantee that no matter what your system, no matter what your methodology says, no matter what your system says, it won't make any difference. You will lose money. You can recognize these kinds of states of mind in advance. See, there, there is a way that you can learn to recognize when you're forcing a trade. Instead of after the fact, you can learn to recognize it before the fact. But the problem, again, is that if you have a tendency to overtrade, your tendency to overtrade may have something to do with some other aspect of your life. That really doesn't have anything to do with trading at all. There's these underlying principles that you're going to have to integrate into your mind so that you can create those kind of consistent results. But, but in essence, it really boils down to how you live your life. And what's the interesting part about all this is that all this stuff that we're going to learn, you don't have to know any of it to put on a winning train. That's the problem with doing this work, is that this work can be difficult. And you're just always one winning trade away of convincing yourself that you don't have to do it. You could be making every mistake in the book and still be winning. You don't have to know anything about yourself. You don't have to know anything even about the markets to put on a winning trade. I've worked with many traders. They knew nothing. It just so happened that the first trade they put on was a winner. I've seen streaks of 15, 16 winning trades in a row from people who knew nothing. Now, you can put on one trade and not know anything. You can put on two, you can put on three. Eventually, what's going to happen is that person's going to make an error. 